Hi, it's Tim from Enmore Audio here, and I'm going to talk about an analog modular synthesizer from Teenage Engineering. This is called the Pocket Operator Modular 400 Synthesizer. Teenage Engineering is a company from Sweden founded in 2005. They make fun and aesthetically pleasing synthesizers, such as the OP1 and the Pocket Operator Calculator series. So here is the Pocket Operator Modular 400. It's a flat pack, analog modular synth that you put together yourself. It took me two and a half hours, so you can enjoy the journey yourself, or you can enlist a friend to help you assemble some parts of the synth. It has three oscillators, a noise, a random generator, two envelopes, two VCAs, one LFO, one mixer, one filter, one speaker box, one power pack, and a 16-step sequencer. The complete kit has a powder-coated chassis, 16 modules, 15 patch cables, one screwdriver, and an illustrated build guide. Being a modular synth, you have to make the connections yourself, which can be fun and unexpected. You can keep it simple by going from an oscillator to a filter to the output, or you can make it more complicated by adding LFOs, noise, sequencer modules, and mixing all the sounds together. The beauty is in the fact that the sound will depend on your signal chain. I'm gonna start off with a simple sine wave drone and patch in modules as I go. All right, let's have a play, and I'll see you on the other side to go through the synth in more detail. On the top row, we have three oscillators, 
of three different waveforms and a mixer module. Each oscillator has a tone coming out of it, so there's no need for an external MIDI control or a note input. Each oscillator has three inputs, a tune knob, a control input with a level knob for you to input any other modules, and a key input. The square oscillator has a pulse width modulation input, and the sine and saw oscillators have a frequency modulation input. The mixer module has three inputs and one output with volume knobs for each. In the middle row, we have an LFO, a filter, two envelopes, and two VCAs, voltage control amplifiers. The LFO module, low frequency oscillator, has two square and two triangle outputs and a rate knob. The filter module has one input, three outputs, two control inputs, like the oscillators, and a resonance and frequency like any good filter. The two envelope modules feature two outputs and a trigger input along with individual ADSR knobs. ADSR stands for Attack, Decay, Sustain, Release. The two VCA modules feature an input and a control input, two outputs and a gain and level knob. On the bottom row, there is a 16 step sequencer, a noise module, a very cool speaker module and a random module. The sequencer module has 16 knobs, which are for each 16th note of a bar and a tempo knob. It has three outputs, a clock out, a clock in, a PO out, which is for pocket operated devices, a reset input, a direction change input, and four individual inputs for the start of each beat of a bar. The noise module has two outputs of white noise and saw noise continuously running so you can patch them in anywhere. The speaker module, which was the most fun to see in its raw form, has a left and a right input, an output and an output volume knob. And lastly, the random module has two outputs on the top, an input with a level knob and a clock input, which overrides the rate knob. Building this modular synth from scratch gave me a great insight into how a modular synth works and how all the parts work together. I use analog synths quite a lot, and while that's been a journey for me, this has been a really fun experience. This is a great creative tool to start a song or a production. The ability to start an interesting and unusual sound bed was unlike if I were to start a sound bed with a guitar or a keyboard. And while you might not find that this is easy to instantly layer over a song, if you give yourself more time to experiment and play, you'll create something fairly unique. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.